Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine eBikes, and today we're going to be doing a video about why you should use pedal assist on your eBike. Now, ever since I've gotten involved with eBiking, um, it's about 50 50 split those who think that pedal assist is great and those who think there's no reason to use it at all. I've talked to manufacturers around the country who um, don't even sell pedal assist with their kits. So, um, I ride every day, I ride about 20 to 40 miles a day, and I use pedal assist all the time, and I swear by it. So there is, like with everything in e-bikes, there's no real right or wrong, but this is my, um, my, my point of why I think you should use pedal assist, why it's good for you, it's good for the bike, it helps you with the, with the motor, lots and lots of reasons. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe below, and thanks again for watching. In the e-bike world, the debate continues to rage over the use of pedal assist or not. Here's a look at pedal assist mode on your e-bike. Pedal assist, also referred to as pedelec, is a mode that provides power only when you're pedaling. If you're used to riding a traditional bike, the pedal assist mode has a more intuitive feel compared to just using the throttle. The pedal assist mode will give you two to three times more range when compared to just using the throttle. A lot of pedal assist bikes have different levels of assistance. For example, low, medium, or high assist. Some bikes coming out now have as many as seven levels of pedal assist. So let's look at low. Low pedal assist, you provide more pedal power and get more of a workout. Medium pedal assist can be a nice balance of your pedal power and the motor power. In high pedal assist mode, if you want to get somewhere quickly and with minimal effort, this could be useful if you want to get to work without sweating too much. On the way home, you could use the low pedal assist for a workout. There are a few different types of pedal assists, the torque sensor and the cadence sensor systems. The torque sensor pedal assist system measures the amount of power you're putting out into the pedals and will increase or decrease the electrical assist based on your pedaling power. The torque sensor systems have a very intuitive ride feel because they emulate your pedal power. The torque sensors are generally found in the mid-drive motors or the rear hub motors. The cadence sensor pedal assist system provides assistance when the cranks of the bike are turning. Compared to the torque sensor system, the cadence sensor will just provide assist based purely on the level of assist you have selected and will not increase or decrease based on your actual pedal power. Whether you pedal lightly or very hard, it will provide the same amount of level of assist. Then there's the combination throttle and pedal assist mode. Some e-bikes come equipped with both throttle and pedal assist modes. Here you can work the combination of the throttle and your pedaling effort to achieve the same result. As a cyclist, I myself am a big fan of using pedal assist. Number one, it's good for you. Number two, it's good for the motor and the battery. And number three, it definitely increases your range of travel and fun significantly.